Some disturbing news involving our national security, or might I say national insecurity, a possible betrayal of our vital secrets by someone serving in our Navy, a Navy officer charged with espionage for passing on state secrets. The officer, identified as Lieutenant Commander Edward Lin, was born in Taiwan, but has since become a naturalized citizen of the U.S. And according to the charge sheet, the Navy accuses Lin of passing secret information twice and three times of attempting to do so to a representative of a foreign government. Let's talk about this now with someone who knows whereof he speaks in terms of duty and honor and also the stakes involved from Newsmax Washington. We welcome back retired U.S. Army Colonel Patrick Murray. Patrick served in Iraq, in Russia, and at the United Nations. He's also the author of the book, Government is the Problem. Colonel, thanks for your time tonight on Newsmax Prime. Good evening, J.D. Nice to see you. Well, it's good to have you here, and the official who first identified Lynn stressed this investigation is still ongoing. But what does this mean, especially in terms of our relationship with China? Well, J.D., this has the potential to be the biggest spy case since dating back to the infamous uh, Walker case back in the 1980s, the, the John Walker spy ring. This guy, Lieutenant Commander, United States Lieutenant Commander, uh, Naval Commander Edward Lynn, uh, very high security clearance. This guy was a United States Naval War College graduate. He had served, you may recall from your time on the Hill, he was a congressional liaison officer for the Navy uh, to our members of Congress and now serving on one of the most sensitive uh, positions in the United States Navy for reconnaissance. And so this is, uh, while the, the charges are highly redacted, the speculation is, and sources close to, the, to this case say that it is China that he's passing secrets to. And so that has huge ramifications given the fact uh, that he's passing stuff with regard to how we gather intelligence and what we do with it. That's a gold mine for a potential adversary. Of course, the Chinese foreign ministry says it's unaware of anything regarding this case. Mm -hmm. But as we take a look at Lin's resume and past, born in Taiwan, fluent in Mandarin, you talked about his time up on Capitol Hill and his time dealing with uh, what we might call signal intelligence, electronic intelligence. So given the importance of what goes on in terms of the Internet, in terms of our assessment of satellites, you're saying this could be huge in terms of losses to our country and an advantage for the Chinese. Well, that's exactly right, J.D., and, and it speaks to the fact that, that the Navy actually arrested this guy almost nine months ago. He's been sitting on ice in the brig down in, um, in uh, Virginia for quite some time, and, and this story just broke over last weekend. This is uh, potentially very explosive and very concerning uh, with regard to the type of intelligence that Lieutenant Commander Lin had access to and what he could have passed to the Chinese government. Uh, Colonel, about a minute left. I'd be remiss if we didn't talk about another story. Uh, we're hearing reports that the ISIS cell that carried out uh, the Brussels bombings mm -hmm. reportedly targeted the Euro 2016 soccer tournament scheduled to occur in France this summer. Are these cells across Europe just intent on hitting soft targets with large crowds? Well, that's exactly what they try to do, the proverbial low-hanging fruit. And I don't think these European nations, whether it's Belgium or France or anything else, have been able to get their arms around them. When you think about the fact that, that uh, our FBI director, James Comey, said that we're looking at about 100 individuals here in the United States, and the Europeans, J.D., are dealing with thousands of individuals, many of whom have gone to Syria, some have come back, others have not. And, and this is going to be something very difficult for them, and, I, and I'm very concerned that there will be future attacks in Europe. Ten seconds. If you're an American this summer, would you travel to Europe? I would. You can't let the terrorists dictate what you do and what you don't do, but you need to uh, practice situational awareness, especially when you're in crowds. And situational awareness is we're out of time. Colonel Patrick Murray, we thank you for your expertise and your analysis. Back with more after this.